Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to a video just looking at some of the patch notes for today, December 3rd, 2015. If you logged on the Wizard today, you would have seen that it took a little while to uh, for the game to update because it was patching in all this new stuff. And I'm just going to be looking at some of the big points that they released. One of the main things that you see in like the first few bullet points here is that they changed critical on a lot of the monsters and just in dark more and stuff so we're gonna be looking at that the other big one is this one right here fix the lag in walrusburg i haven't checked that yet because i haven't actually logged in the wiz i just patched it the lag in walrusburg was pretty ridiculous so i'm glad they fixed that but yeah let's go ahead and get started with the critical so here's a big one and it is number one on the list with the exception of some bosses critical and block on all monsters throughout the spiral has been reduced by half now that is pretty significant because if you think about how crit and block works, is it's not necessarily like if you cut like say 600 crit in half, it's not a reduction of like 50%. Because the percentage works differently and it kind of scales up as you get to the higher amounts of crit. And but still reducing it by half is a big reduction. So when you do crit, like this is how I thought the system was supposed to work initially. But then they, they didn't make this change until way later. But when you crit, they want it to be so that when you actually do crit, and there's a less chance that you actually have to crit now, but when you do, you should be getting the block through a decent amount of the time. And in the past, that wasn't really happening because how it worked was it was kind of imbalanced where like, okay, now our crit's been reduced a lot. And like for my storm, I can't even get 100% crit unless I sacrifice a bunch of stuff. And when you do crit though, the enemies have the same block, so they block it every time. I mean, how many times has Malastare blocked in Darkmoor and that kind of thing? It's just crazy. So, they reduced that. I think they, there is something in Darkmoor on here. Uh, yeah, a little bit. But, um, yeah, basically, they are reducing both of those in half. So, when you do crit, there's a higher chance that you will get the crit through. And then enemies should critical on you a less amount of times than in the past. So, that makes sense because since they nerfed crit and block on wizards they should also do the same on enemies so finally that has been applied into the game it's a good update uh, adjust the critical and block calculations for players with lower rating amount some players who previously saw their critical and block at one percent have received an increase into the percentage okay so i did see this on my life wizard when i have like a hundred critical it's still like one percent so maybe they kind of changed that so it's not 1%, maybe it's a little higher. I mean, 1% is still low. Even if it's like raised to 5 or 10%, that's still kind of low. 10% is a little better, but I'll have to check that one in game. On my life, I'm not really looking to crit though. I do heal and it'd be cool to, you know, get the heal because they did also change the thing where if you critical a heal, it heals you back for more than double now. So they kind of changed that. That's kind of a way for them to balance it out where um like for life wizards and other wizards when they're healing and they get the crit, it does double. Well, since they reduced crit, they had to kind of make up for that because some PvP strategies rely on healing, and uh, that kind of, like, didn't really help that out at all. Like, that kind of nerfed all of those strategies. So they kind of helped it out, but not really because criticaling is just way better. So now it's basically like, if you crit, it's even better than before, but there's a way less chance that you actually can crit. So I don't know. I don't know if that really balances that out, but they, they at least tried to fix that issue. The bosses, Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus, all of their critical reduced. Okay. So when we did the divine run, that was before this patch. So they did, yeah, I think uh, the three bosses in Tartarus did crit on us a lot. But I mean, it wasn't like that bad, but now it's been reduced, so it's even easier. Some difficulty adjustments, including reductions of health, starting pips, Critical and block have been made in Darkmoor. So they're basically nerfing Darkmoor with this, which I felt was supposed to happen at some point because Darkmoor is one of the more difficult dungeons in the entire game. And the thing that was making this the most difficult was the critical because their critical was still the same until this patch and our block was reduced a lot. So it made it like difficult to stay alive because they would just do a ton of damage to you. And the one time that we did Darkmoor before this patch, that was how I got my Storm Pierce Wand, finally, because I wanted to test the Mouser chest. And it was difficult. It took us a lot longer to do Darkmoor than in the past. So they finally reduced that. That's a good change as well. Because with the addition of this like critical and block nerf that they made in Polaris, they had to change a bunch of other things. They can't just change that and just leave it. So I'm glad they finally made these changes. That's why I wasn't really sure why they were waiting. I thought they were going to do something like this in Polaris Test Realm, but... 
I don't know. It's kind of a <laughs> it kind of took him a while to finally get this patch out. Fixing the issue that caused Rasputin to not appear for some players during the quest. I know there was a few Rasputin glitches. I hope that those got fixed. I haven't got to Rasputin yet in, in Live Realm, but um, I hope by the time we get there that everything goes smoothly. Fixing the issue that caused your companions to appear in your exits. I've seen this a lot, so I'm glad they fixed that one. Fix an issue that sometimes prevented Captain Winters from spawning during the quest Viva La Penguinonia. That was a big issue for a lot of people. So glad they fixed that one, especially like <laughs> if you watched the walkthrough, you would have seen that we encountered this issue as well. Made changes that should reduce the lag in Walversburg. The lag was ridiculous, not just like the lag in like walking around. I don't think I experienced lag just walking around in Walversburg, but just the loading screens were insane. Names of the Morgan spell juice have been short. Yeah, those were ridiculously long. Like I saw those cards. I'm like, okay, they don't even fit in the card length. So they fixed that. Cronus got a major buff. His damage before was like around 400, I think three something. So that got buffed to 950. It's still nine pips. So I don't know. Like, I don't really think people are going to use these spells that much. Those are from the Aquila spells in, uh, well, you could get it from the Zeus battle, but now you can get it from the packs anyway. So I don't know. I don't really see them being that useful. Maybe certain situations in PvP. Okay, I think they finally fixed the cloak thing. This was an issue that uh, has been around in the PvP community for a while. So I hope that it got fixed correctly. And then I think that's the major stuff. So yeah, big things in this update were the crit and block. So basically with the nerf of the crit and block to all wizards, they now finally reduced the crit and block of all monsters. So that kind of bounces it out a little bit better. And I'll have to go in and see if it actually is, you know, a lot different for me. But that should help out everyone. I mean, any world that has critical uh, monsters that can crit uh, should be reduced. Not necessarily by 50%, but just, like, they they will crit a lot less than they used to. So, you may have seen my video. Test Realm went up randomly the other day. I don't know why. Uh, it was kind of weird. But in it, people kind of know some changes. One of them was the call of Krulu and, or Cthulhu. I just call it Cthulhu. It's easier to say. And um, so I did post that video on the new animation. Apparently that animation is not actually in the live room right now. But and I guess C Cthulhu is also not healing back. That's what I heard. So I don't know if that's been changed. If it does, I will let you guys know. But uh, for now, I'm hoping that they're planning on fixing Cthulhu because uh, it would be better if it kind of just hit all. But yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today on these new patch notes. So go update your game and check these out. Um, seems like a lot of good things has been changed basically like the post polaris patch fixing all the issues and stuff so really happy about it but yeah that's gonna do it for me today so thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel for more wizard updates and videos and enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time